another episode of Beer for Breakfast ABB. I am Danielle from Mornings on 91X. As always, I have my beer drinking partner in crime with me, Paul Segura from Carl Strauss Aloha. Brewing. A uh, gentle reminder, find our wonderful gear at 91X.com in the promo, in the merch shop. We've got glasses, we've got koozies, we've got one liter growlers, we've got bottle openers, we've got all kinds of wonderful stuff. Get your 91X Beer for Breakfast gear at 91X.com. So now for the whole reason that we're really here, these two handsome gentlemen from Hillcrest Brewing Company. I have head brewer Shaver. I also have also have assistant brewer Christopher with me. Also my best friend. Uh, welcome guys. Welcome back. Hi. Cheers. Good to have you guys. Hi. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Mmm. This Hefeweizen rocks. You haul Hefeweizen coming in at four and a half percent. Tell me all about it. Um, it's one of the beers we've been brewing for since we opened, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, it's like a little bit fruity and a little bit, little bit clovey, a little bit banana-y. I get those. Kind of like right in the middle. So Bavarian style. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I I, I totally get the banana. Traditional totally pops. Yeah, I drink the hell out of this beer. It's it's it, it's it is low alcohol too, so. So I also I have to, I've got to ask you guys a question because you do also Hillcrest Brewing Company is also a restaurant. It's a mm -hmm. pub. Amazing, amazing pizza. Um, not a lot of places have Hefeweizen. So do you find um, people coming in asking for some kind of fruit to be put on it? Orange slice, lemon, anything like that? And yes. do you do that? NFL. We, we actually brewed this beer specifically for an orange slice. So this was um, kind of our backup against the, uh, you know, the blue moons and the, and the shock tops and mm -hmm. stuff. So I would say it is probably one of our best selling beers. All right. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah. It's yeah. well done. Thanks, man. I love this style too. It's yeah, and there's not and there's not like a ton no, of them out. Not a lot of which I dig. Yeah, not a lot of people are brewing hefeweizens anymore. Yeah, it's a shame. I know it's too bad. Really? I I that's like the one of the ones that I go to that and like pilsners whenever I go into a yeah. new bar or Kolsch it's, since I brew one of those. People I, don't realize how hard it is to make a good hefeweizen. Yeah, it's keeping that yeast happy to produce just yeah. the right ester profile. And they get, yeah, the, yeah, the yeast gets stoked and yeah, and then I get stoked. And then we and all, I just, believe it or not, that's how that works, There's man. so much stoking so going much on stoking. around yeah. at HBC, let me tell you what. Um, another thing to be stoked about uh, is your guys' participation in World's Aid, World AIDS Day. World AIDS yes. Day is December 1st, mm -hmm. and you guys make a special beer for it every year. The Red Ribbon, we're getting a little sneak peek of it now. Yes. Tell me, what is this? So this is a hoppy red. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, comes in around 6'2". Um, just... It has like a it has like a mellow backbone. It's a little spicy, a little bit uh, just has just like a lot of like that red backbone, and then um, just some floral hops, just amarillo and citra things that are that people dig. And I get orange, but I also get toast and a little bit of like toffee. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot going on in this yeah. beer. Yeah, yeah. But it's but it's it's but it's also like mellow enough for it to be accessible, but also like uh, not something that's just. Even keel either. Well, and you guys don't use the same recipe every year, right? Is it a no. different beer each year? Changes yeah. every year, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of just what I'm feeling. And I mean, I already brew <clears throat> another red. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's like an Irish red, so I. Is that, is that the crotch rocket that red? Is yeah. I, just, I just like to say it. I just like to say the name. You I would. can't help it. <laughs> you guys have the funnest beer names. <laughs> yeah, man. We still get away with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, World AIDS Day on December 1st, what are you guys going to be doing? So for that day, all five of our locations, because we're part of a larger group in Hillcrest, will premiere this beer. And then $2 from every pint sold will get put into a different HIV uh, charity. So last year we did the San Diego Collaborative uh, HIV Funding, I believe mm -hmm. is what it was. So they dole out the money to the places that need it most. That's amazing. Uh, so for people who don't know, what are the five locations? So we have Hillcrest Brewing Company, we have Inside Out, Baja Betty's, Gossip Girl, and Urban Mo's. There you go. Yeah. That's super, super awesome. And how many years have you guys been doing this? We've been doing the Red Ribbon, I believe, for six years, if not all seven that we've 
been open. So it's always been something that's been near and dear to our heart. We always, you know, make sure that we donate to the LGBT Center, Mama's Kitchen, a lot of other places that will will help, you know, people in our community um, and and the rest of San Diego with uh, HIV and AIDS. So and two dollars from every pint. That's a that's, that's a healthy huge. donation. Yeah, yeah. We uh, this was something that um, our owner Chris Shaw when he started. Um, Urban Moses, I think, 30 years old now, close to it. So he's always wanted to give back to the community, and this seemed like an easy way to do it. Well, and I would say that Urban Moses as a whole, you know, you guys do give a lot back to the community. You're constantly doing events. I mean, yeah. Hillcrest Brewing Company alone, like, can you guys, you know, before we get into our next beer, can you kind of give a, a rundown of what to expect at Hillcrest Brewing Company when you go in? We have uh, a lot of food, like you said, so... Best wings, in my opinion. They're oven baked, not fried. Pizzas, specialty pizzas. Um, we try and keep things really fresh with food. So we do a pizza of the month. We do a wing sauce of the month. Um, we're now doing um, different flights to go with that, too, which is kind of neat. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we've got um, car shows on Normal Street. We've got uh, trivia on Tuesdays. We've got the farmer's market Sunday morning. So. So There's actually a lot of on. stuff going and on. I personally yeah. like to have a shot of absinthe when I drink like <laughs> Shaver's beers. That's how it goes, man. <laughs> Which we do not have. We do have a full bar, but no absinthe. Oh, what? You guys had absinthe when I was in there last. I was absinthe minded. Well, we just then, give you, you whatever reason, we want. You're the reason that we stopped <laughs> I'm the reason that discontinued it. I got out of control. Yeah, I'm dude. sorry. Yeah, I'm My bad. So, Shaver, before you started brewing for Hillcrest Brewing Company, where did you get your brewing chops from? Um, I started when I was um, 17 because my mom bought me a Mr. Beer Kit nice. for Christmas. Your mom's rad. Yeah, dude. Mom. Yeah, she's a rad. She lady. really is. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, and then she bought one for me and for my dad, and then my dad never did anything with it, so I brewed two batches. And then yeah, and you're like, I could do this. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this first one kind of sucked, but I'll try the second one. And that they were both awful. Yeah, they, they were, were terrible. both awful. <laughs> but I did the hell out of it because I was 17, so might as well. Right. Um, and then, so, uh, yeah, and then in college, yeah. And then in college, my friends and I, we started brewing, like home brewing and whatever. And then they all got like, like, I don't know, they're in finance and doing, you know, <laughs> stuff in Boston. But they're drinking your beer. <laughs> and, and, they're not, and they're not brewing anymore, but I'm brewing professionally and it's good. That's so, super awesome. Yeah. Well, you're way happier than they are. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? I'm in, I'm in Southern California. It's it's 80, what, 88 degrees today? Yeah. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Perfect, perfect day for a hoodie. It's yeah. <laughs> Not the I, best I, day I, for a stout, but I like we're going to take one anyway. Especially a 9-2. Well, so oh. this is the thing. Uh, technically, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. And <laughs> I could, uh, the long and stout. This is, this is. When you're so full from eating and stuffing your face and you can't get any pie in your in your gourd, this is it right here, the long and stout. It's a really good aperitif, mm -hmm. I agree. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to, to Thanksgiving. That. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, this smells like oh, so cocoa, much going on. a little bit oh, of yeah. coffee. So much. Mm. Oh, yeah. There's and 9-2. Yeah, 9-2. So it's winter warmer. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Other it is, yeah. 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 Come on, Mother. Get yeah, we, yeah, we need that, yeah. Yeah, it's just there's like a lot of coffee, chocolate, toffee. That is so good. Like bitter chocolate. I mellowed like the bitterness out a little bit from last year because I, I put a little bit more hops in it last year, mm -hmm. and I realized that I wasn't getting as much like the chocolate bitterness as I was. So I just totally mellowed out on it. And this has a pleasant fruitiness too. Yeah. But at nine two, it's still like pretty young. You could lay this down for a while. Yeah. Take yeah. some kegs or and fill some oak barrels. Yeah, and we've, been, and we've been doing that. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, we just threw a couple, like, for uh, the one I brewed in 2017, we threw a couple kegs on the way back of the cooler and just nice. told no one to touch them. Save those <laughs> yep. for a rainy day. Yeah, and then, so then for beer week, we did, like, a side-by-side -side of this one, and then the one I did oh. in 2017, that one was 9.7, so wow. having it mellow out a little bit more was really, it was really clutch. Um, and it kind of chilled out on, like, the booziness and just kind of evened everything out. So I stashed a ton of kegs of this in the way back. I like for, that you guys have something on for everybody. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. your, your half was solid, your stout solid, and then there's a bunch of good beers in between. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I have eight of mine. Like, I between, like, I'd say between six and ten of mine at any given time, but we have 26 taps. Yeah. We've got guest taps yeah, on. So, yeah. I mean, so that makes like, up for I not have... having absinthe. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Uh, my next question, what do we have to do to get these in some barrels? 
Maybe some, some bourbon barrels. So, like, what do we have to do? If you buy me a forklift. <laughs> Does anybody out there have a forklift that my friend here can borrow? Because I'm telling you right now, if this was barrel aged, holy camoli. Yeah, right. I, I would drink this all day. Yeah, there. I would throw this in some. This definitely would have um, a really great quality after some of that because of the bitterness that you get it's not a sweet stout would you get you i mean it's got that fruity quality but i could definitely see like a maple barrel or something like that can you help my friends out i totally can 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 i'll even help you lift them and stuff so like no forklift is needed you guys i mean you are tall guys i'd help yeah (laughs) we'll find out what the egyptians did to make the pyramids and we'll use that pulley system oh my god i can even see making some kind of special dessert around this beer Beer some kind of like yeah so we actually have a uh mad cow milkshake which is this stout and a couple of vanilla ice cream uh Mm. scoops and then blend it together good you guys are doing good stuff over there at hillcrest brewing company we appreciate it yeah Mm -hmm. uh Thank you guys so, so much for coming on Beer for Breakfast. Remind yeah. us one more time about that Red Ribbon release that's going on. So that's going to be December 1st, World AIDS Day. You can find it at any of our five locations, $2 from every pint sold. That's fantastic. Yeah. At all five locations. Every one of them. Come Inside out. That's, that's a Saturday, Baja right? Betty's. That's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. So no excuse. <laughs> no excuses. It's a Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much. Remember, you can find previous episodes of Beer for Breakfast ABB at 91x.com. Uh, Friday morning. Actually, it's not Friday morning because I will be off. So <laughs> <laughs> Paul will come on Beer for Breakfast, and we will be talking about Hillcrest Brewing Company. I will. And uh, it's going to be a great time. Thank you guys so much for coming on Beer yeah. for Breakfast. Yeah. Cheers to independently Cheers. owned craft beer and independently owned Cheers to radio. Jam Bands. And to Jam Bands. <laughs> to all of it. And to Jerry. And to, to Jerry. Jerry. Oh, the no. gays. The yes. Pens. Well, there you go. <laughs> 91X.